All right, so in this video, we're going to take a look at that parameter that we have in our main method uh, that you may have noticed a couple of times, uh, perhaps even every single time that we've had to create a main method. Uh, there's this parameter, which is a string array that we call args. And the purpose of this, we'll go ahead and set up a program to take a look at this. Uh, if you're doing this through an IDE, you'll go ahead and create a project. We'll call this, um, I'm going to call this command args. Okay. So of our public class command args. We have our main method, so we'll have our public static void main. And then we have that parameter, which is that string array called args. And the purpose of this string array of args is whenever you are running your program, you can actually specify one or more arguments through the command line and this string array is going to essentially collect those arguments that you've given it and then you can use them in your program somewhere. So to give you an example of this, let's say that I'm going to go ahead and put something into this args and I want to just go ahead and print that to the console. So the way that this is going to work is whenever I put something into args, uh, it's going to be part of an array, meaning that if I put just one single argument into this, that argument that I put in is going to be a position zero. So I want to put args zero right here. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and compile this. And when I run it, I'm going to add a command line argument. So I'm going to add essentially an additional uh, parameter that I want to put into it. So I'll come over here and we're going to go ahead and compile our command args dot Java. And then right here, when I uh, run it, I'm going to put my Java command. I'm going to put the name of the file, the class file that I want to run. And then I'm also going to go ahead and add one additional value right here. And what I want to put here is going to be the phrase hello world. So what I want to try to do is put hello, and then a comma and a space, and then world. But when I do this, we'll notice that only the hello gets printed out. And the reason for that is that every time I put a space here, to my program, it's going to think that that space means that I'm going to add another different argument to this. So technically what's happening right here is this hello comma, this is argument, uh, the argument at position zero in that args array, and this world exclamation point is gonna be the argument at position one in the args array. So if I wanna get both of these things, I'll go ahead and remove this, and we'll go ahead and print out the other one as well. We'll go ahead and print the uh, value that is at arg0 and the value that's at args1. So we'll go ahead and print each one of those two arguments. So we'll go ahead and compile this again. And then I'm only gonna, I'll go ahead and uh, run this with those same two arguments. And now we can get the entire phrase. Of course, one additional thing is to include a space in there as needed. Okay, uh, so this is just gonna be a brief uh, just demonstration of what it is that the string array args actually does or what the purpose of it is. Generally, whenever you use something like this, the intent is that maybe you want your program to just immediately be given some kind of argument uh, through the command line uh, so that it can immediately figure out you know, uh, what it needs to do. Uh, essentially, it's another uh, way to provide user input where instead of having the program itself ask for that, you just do that immediately when you go to execute the program. Uh, pretty common usage of that might be if you need to specify a particular file that you want to be able to interact with in your program. It's uh, not terribly uncommon to see the uh, a setup where you're just going to pass in an argument for the file that you want to use or manipulate in some way. Okay. So this is basically showing how to do it if I just use a text editor and I run it straight from the terminal. If instead you want to be able to do this in some kind of IDE, like say NetBeans for example, uh, particularly for NetBeans, the way that you're going to access the args or the arguments for your program is you can actually go to the Run tab and then from there you're going to locate a particular item in that menu which is set project configuration and from there you're going to go to the customize option okay and when you access this customize option 
uh, you will open up a dialog box or window. Inside of that window, you should find another run option in that left hand panel that will display. And inside of there, when you look at the this uh, rather large set of options in that run tab, uh, one of those you're going to be looking for, it's almost right in the center on the right hand side, is going to be the arguments. So once you get that open, you're looking for this arguments, and then there's going to be some kind of uh, text field or an input box where you can input the arguments. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and leave this comment in for this particular program so that you can actually see uh, the, um, the path that you have to navigate through so that you can actually add arguments if you're doing this through NetBeans. Uh, if you're doing it through Eclipse, I'm not sure precisely what the uh, path to get to your arguments is, but I would imagine it's probably something fairly similar to the way that it's set up in NetBeans as well. Okay. Uh, so this is going to wrap up the command line arguments. Uh, going into the next video, we're going to take a look at a particular way to specify arguments for a, um, for a method by uh, essentially being able to pass in uh, any number of arguments through what are known as var args.